<laughs> I'm making this video a fast one. I just wanted to point out another fig that you could really count on. This one is Celeste. And I am a very, very strong advocate of this particular variety. And I, I just think that this variety has gotten a bum rap. And it is probably the single most overlooked and underappreciated fig there is. Simple Celeste. And I know there's improved Celeste, and I know that a lot of growers say, well, hey, I've got the improved Celeste. Why do I need Celeste? They're not the same fig. They taste different. And improved Celeste is a fantastic, wonderful fig. I love it. And I love Celeste, just ordinary Celeste. It is not a sugar fig. At least the variety, the strain that I have, rather, is has a, a slight berry taste to it it has a distinctive flavor it is not a sugar figure fig <laughs> uh, i think that improved celeste is more so a sugar fig than is ordinary celeste inside it's a, a light red color and if you let it ripen and sometimes even shrink a little. It's just ex extraordinarily delicious. It's extremely winter hardy, extremely productive. It is the most hardy fig in my opinion. You know, everybody has their own opinion, that's mine. Of the figs I've grown, there is no fig that's hardier than Celeste. Maybe Brunswick, but Figs like Hardy Chicago have a reputation for being hardy, and Hardy Chicago is hardy, and it's a great fig, and I, we're not talking, we're trying to compare Hardy Chicago with Celeste. They're two different figs, and it's a great fig, and should be in your collection. But this is a separate variety that is often overlooked. Of course, you know that the LSU program produced many, many, many great varieties using Celeste in the parentage. And there's a reason for that. Because it's closed eye. It, it just doesn't spoil in the rain like any other fig. And it is very cold hardy. Very productive. This, this, this particular tree will pump out hundreds, and there's no exaggeration. I have no agenda, there's no exaggeration here. This tree pumped out hundreds and hundreds of figs last year. And it will pump out hundreds and hundreds of figs this year. So, for what it's worth, if you don't have Celeste, ordinary, plain Celeste, or at least a good strain of Celeste, because there are many strains of Celeste, and they're, they're all worthy of investigation and I just happened when we got this fig many 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 years ago when we were introduced to this fig and we took it back to my family we didn't know Celeste we did not my family did not know Celeste and when I brought cuttings back to New Jersey we loved it and it's been in the family ever since. I've got one large tree right up against my home. And it produces also hundreds of figs every, every summer. We look forward to the harvest. It's, it's an event. It's something different. I recommend this fig. It, it, it would sharply diminish our summer if we didn't have the Celeste harvest to look forward to every year. No fig produces, in my opinion, like Celeste. So there, now you have it. I hope I've disseminated some useful information.
have a great day.